Fucking on the low. Fucking on the low. Smoking on the low. I still been flying on the low. Screaming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low. Mobbing on the low. Fucking on the low. Smoking on the low. I still been flying on the low. Screaming on the low. Farthest stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been. Everybody. welcome back to another weekly vlog so I did start the video off just like a little bit weird last night is when I started the video and I did like a little self-care I made me some dinner I had a glass of wine your girl don't really drink like that but liquor or wine but every now and then like I just try to have you know a little something and I'm very much a social drinker so yes that was yesterday while I was waiting for my vlog to upload girl it literally took three to four hours for it to upload like i stated before at&t is trash and i need to call them today for them to come out to look at my um internet service because i'm not going to continue to keep paying for trash service girl it should not take that long especially with like the package that i got it's not like it's multiple people streaming and on the internet playing video games or anything like that like there's been times where i have to turn off my tv um which is like on the fire stick so it's running off internet i have to turn the tv off just so i can take a meeting like why you know what i mean like that just doesn't make sense to me so i'm gonna call them today so they can come out here and look take a look at my um thing and if it doesn't get any better then i'm going to i think contact spectrum and um have them like come out here i'm going to cancel their service and have spectrum come out here so i can um get internet because i don't have no issues with spectrum okay i don't i i haven't had any issues with spectrum since so i wanted to try at&t because it was something new they have like fiber and there's no contract so that's one thing about at&t that like it's a set price forever um and there's no contract where spectrum they have like there's spectrum there's no contract either but you know it's only a set price for like 12 or how many ever months they have i don't know girl that's that um i uploaded my vlog yesterday loving 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 the feedback but i do want to address just a few things that i've like you know been seeing here in the comments but um a lot of people were like you know why are you promoting hello fresh i'm upset that hello fresh doesn't want to work with you so it's not that hello fresh doesn't want to work with me it's just that we're not aligned whenever it comes to like a budget perspective the way that i stated that in the vlog like oh you know you know they don't 
don't want to work with your girl i just be that's just how i talk but that doesn't mean that they don't want to work with me or a brand doesn't want to work with me it's more so uh they're not aligned when it comes to like budgets i used to work with hellofresh back in the day i was severely undercharging i didn't have management or anything like that and i was severely undercharging once i got management and stuff like that like everything like really changed again we just not aligned okay so that's one but two i don't have to work with every brand just to promote them not every item or brand that i mention on my channel or show you on my channel has to be you know like sponsored if hellofresh was like trash i wouldn't tell the girls at all a lot of people are already on hellofresh you get what i'm saying they're not trash the food is really good very decent and it's just real easy you know it's just something that i can make like if i'm constantly working i don't have to put much thought into i get out of this mind space that i can't mention you know i'm talking in general but i can't mention you know certain brands or whatever the case may be just because they don't want to work with, or just because you know we're not working together not they don't want to work with me but just because we're not working together if that makes sense i just say all that to say is like not everything deserves like a sponsorship and it's not like i'm promoting hello fresh every video like i literally just started back my meal services last week and it was just something to add into the vlog even the first clips that you've seen that was just again something to add into the vlog like it's real life like <laughs> what you want me to make you know what i mean like i'm hungry girl it's literally like what i was doing so you know what i mean like but it's just like the food is good girl like get you some okay i can't have this mindset of like oh if they don't want to work with me at all then i'm not mentioning them whatsoever on my channel but i'm gonna still purchase from them or use them or whatever the case may be if that makes sense like for example a lot of people have asked me about fashion nova i haven't worked with fashion nova in years but also i don't support the brand i'm not secretly purchasing from fashion nova any items that i mentioned that's from fashion nova's i've had that for a long long time i don't actively buy from fashion nova we're seven months into the year i have not made one purchase from fashion nova this year but i'm not mentioning anything that i don't support or i don't like or whatever the case may be and i hope all that makes sense because sometimes girl i ain't gonna lie i just be long-winded and talking in circles it is what it is here's my last example um i used to promote skims i did like two video yeah like two dedicated videos on my channel promoting skims i also what consistently last year mentioned them in vlogs like this is what I got from Skims. This is what I got from Skims. Oh, I'm wearing Skims. Like, I'm wearing Skims right now. I did that consistently. They were not sponsoring me at all. They were not gifting me any pieces. I seen them working with a lot of creators, so it wasn't like they wasn't working with creators. They just wasn't looking your girl away, okay? And then this year, I got a sponsorship with Skims. And y'all know Skims, a little up there on the price, okay? But the sponsorship literally covered all my purchases from them plus more. So it's just like, it's okay. Like it is okay. I like the brand, I'm gonna put it out there, okay? God's gonna bless me either way. A lot of things in your life can be a complete 360 or 180, which one is it? You know what I'm talking about. Things can literally change, you know, at a drop of a dime. And it's just so many things that can happen to you just by, you know, mentioning. Girl, I know I said this is my last thing. But it's just such a, a great topic to talk about when it comes to, like, black creators in the space. The brand is bad. Have bad morals, values, all of that. Then, of course, do not promote. I'm not saying promote every brand. I'm just saying that it's nothing wrong every now and then mentioning a brand. I first started on Instagram and YouTube, me mentioning certain brands. And I tell people this all the time if they reach out and be like oh how did you start working with these brands such and such it started by me mentioning them it's like so many people out here literally it's so many people out here trying to be creators influencers and da 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 whatever if you're not like big big you're gonna get overlooked like just being honest so with that like you gotta put yourself in their face and this can be applied anywhere in any career field like when you want something and you want to succeed at something put yourself in their face bright and early ready i remember when i was working at my corporate job i used to dress up all the time and my position was kind of more laid back it was more of like a business casual type thing a lot of people kind of like you know stretched it with the dress code i remember like a few people saying like girl like you dress up all the time can't even imagine like you know getting ready for this type of job or whatever 
And I'm like, yeah, that's cool or whatever, but that's you. On the other hand, me, oh, I'm finna turn up. And the reason why I say that is because, like, I like I like people to know and feel my energy when I walk into the room. I'm dressing for the position that I want. So if I was to apply to something, they're like, oh, yes. I love the way that she carried herself. She comes in here, you know, with X, Y, and Z. She looks like the perfect candidate for, you know, blah, blah. It can all start from your appearance. She's looking clean. Looking like you kind of care, even though we're going to be caring about these jobs sometimes. Just playing the part. You just never know what opportunities may come your way just by you, you know, promoting something, mentioning something, tagging something, or, you know, dressing a certain way, whatever, girl. So yeah, that's just that. I know that was very long-winded. I just wanted to say all that to say it's like, okay, girl, I'm not promoting HelloFresh every video. Last week was my first week getting HelloFresh and y'all, y'all tearing me up. So yeah, that was that, but let me move on. Um, So anyway, girls, as I probably already put up on the screen today is Monday, July 18th. It is a busy, busy day for me. So I need to go ahead and get started, make my coffee. I need to debrief because your girl is just not, I'm in a good mood, but I'm not like really feeling it today because like y'all know, like I told you in the last vlog, I have to put on makeup again. Um, and I'm gonna be recording a video today, but I also need to um, like take some pictures to finish off my, uh, that I needed to do for Amazon to drop because the content is due on Wednesday. Um, I did turn in a lot of stuff this morning. Um, I also have to film a video for Pretty Little Thing. There's two videos that I'm going to record today, which is a Pretty Little Thing and then a collective haul. So that's what we're doing today also um and then taking pictures after like wednesday because i think i do have a meeting on wednesday with my management but after wednesday is when i can kind of relax but then not really because if you don't know which you probably don't know because i didn't mention this but my best friend is getting married and of course your girl is the maid of honor per per so with that being stated Oh, we finna turn up at a wedding. But yes, her wedding is coming up soon. It's going to be a destination wedding, which I'm so excited about. She opted out of uh, having a bridal shower. So the bridal party decided to throw her a surprise bridal shower. We feel like every bride should deserve like the whole, the whole nine, the whole perks of, you know, um, having a wedding, getting married, being engaged, you know, all of that. So we definitely wanted to celebrate her, show her how much she's loved, how much we care about her. And we went about to let her go out without the shebang. I'm so excited about that. We've been working on this for a few months now. So her surprise bridal shower is this Saturday. We have a party planner, a caterer, um, and yeah, so can't wait to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes and things like that. But yeah, that's that, but I'm just gonna stop rambling. Hello, everybody. So today is Tuesday, July 19th. It is currently 10, like almost 11 a.m. I'm going to be in the office all day. I finished my pictures yesterday. Um, girl is tired, but you know, we pushing, we pushing through or whatever. So um, <clears throat> I'm literally about to edit a video that's due tomorrow. I'm gonna look through all the pictures, favorite the ones that I like. And then from there, I'm going to narrow it down. Coffee water and then i'll have a little snack or something later zane is set up with his toys so he shouldn't even be bothering me but yeah everything is good to go i just wanted to check in with the vlog i will talk to you guys later because again your girl gotta get to work i know i keep talking about my tape ins my tape ins my tape ins like you know my man my man my man i could possibly take out my tape ins either today or tomorrow so that's good Okay, I'm happy about that. <laughs> Hello everybody, so today is Wednesday, July 20th. It's almost 12 o'clock. I have a meeting with my management team. Um, I was gonna make coffee, but I kinda wanna use my like new cup. I don't really like this. Like I put this in a dishwasher and it stinks still, but like it didn't really wash too well. It stated that this was dishwasher safe except for the top so i don't know anyway so today my pictures are due for amazon i looked through all like it was over a thousand <laughs> um i looked through all those photos um picked through you know the ones that i think are the best based on the checklist that they provided me and then edit them it took me probably about four to five hours to do all of that <laughs> so my pictures are due today i have a meeting with my management team today and then i'm gonna try and edit a little bit of my video that i recorded yesterday i think it was on monday uh to monday it was on monday 
So I'm gonna try and edit a little bit of that because my upload schedule, I don't know if y'all kinda like seen, even though it's only been two weeks, your girl's been trying to be consistent. I plan to only upload like twice a week. And like I said, you know, on some good days, we might throw in an extra video or whatever. But my goal is to upload at least twice a week and that is Thursday as well as Sunday. I got about 10 minutes, so let me go ahead and make my coffee so I can get, jump on this meeting. All right, y'all, so it's a few hours later. I'm about to try and take out my tapins. I don't really know how it's going to be. We're going to see. So I'm going to start off with this little section right here. I have two different things. I look crazy. So I have two different things. I have this C22 solvent right here. And then I also have the big Kizzy hair uh, release, and re re release and reuse and the remove and residue. I don't know if it's like a two-step you know process here but this had a lot of reviews it says that you can start at the nape of the neck and work in the upward direction i don't know i'm gonna try this one first i really don't want to do this but i have to because like i said it's overdue spray it up spray it in between I'm just gonna test or try to test one area. I don't have a metal tip comb, so we're gonna see. I can feel it moving. So I don't remember the last time I talked to you. I think it was on Wednesday and I believe it was on Wednesday, yeah. And today is Friday, July 22nd. Um, it is about 11 o'clock a.m. Did my whole morning routine, cleaned up the kitchen. Sorry if you heard noise, Zane is outside so I got the door kind of cracked so he can come in and out. So as you can see, tape bands are out. I'm back to being bald headed, per. I Like you see that? Mm, can you even see it? This area has been like thinning for a while don't pay attention <laughs> wanted to kind of record the whole process of me taking my tape ins out but that took a very very long time like super duper long it took me probably about like two hours i would definitely say if you were to get tape ins and you never had them before definitely get them taken out by a professional um i think again they have the right tools and everything that they need for them to take out your hair but then again like you just don't know. Both solutions work for me. I use a whole bottle of one solution. I'm glad that I got both of them because I was able to use um, the products interchangeably. Okay, because if not, I really need to shut this door. If not, then I just kind of felt like it would have took me so, so long and I would have got frustrated. But as far as like with my hair coming out, I would say that I've got the normal amount of shedding that I would get for having not like really brushing your hair where the tape ends were um, for like two months, if that makes sense. Like it's just kind of like you're, you're shedding for like with braids. The shedding that I got was nothing abnormal that I seen based on um, me having like braids, you know, previously or just styles that I haven't really been able to like comb my hair you know, in a few months. So I don't think it was abnormal. I did see some strands of hair come out with the tape ins, but I will say that my hair was like super, super like sore. I washed it and everything and it was so sore to like brush and everything. It's feeling better right now. It was definitely super sore. But yeah, yeah, I just had to update you guys. Would I get tape ins again? I definitely would. It's not something that I can do like back to back to back to back. I had to, I felt like I was screaming. But anyway, the person that I went to, she was sweet. She did let me know if I needed anything or as far as like, you know, an emergency maintenance or anything like that, like let her know. And then she also was taking like a break from like this because she's like traveling back and forth and stuff like that. So I would want someone that's a little bit more consistent where it's just like I can, you know, get them maintenance like every three weeks and it's not just, 
you know, me waiting a long time in between and I get them removed, have a little break on my hair. And then, you know, if I wanted to, I can get them reapplied and things like that. Like I just wanted somebody that's a little bit more consistent. So yes, I definitely will um, get tape-ins again, but it will be a while before I get tape-ins again. Definitely like tape-ins. Um, I didn't think that my tape-ins were as, you know, full as I would like for them to be. I know I have some damage like right up here in my hair where it's like, you know, super broke off or whatever. And I've seen people who had like shorter hair than me, blunt cuts and all kinds of stuff um be able to get tape-ins and it's worked just fine for them but um i didn't like that my tape-ins were only like placed a certain way so i couldn't really do many styles with my tape-ins like i had to keep the same part and so forth and so on like it was always the same you know type style um and i was able to put my tape-ins in a ponytail but again i still had to flow with the same style of my ponytail like i had to manipulate that ponytail just for it to go up i always felt like i was ready for the day um so i really like that so i would say if you are interested in getting tape-ins Get them done by a professional, please, 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 because we do not want your hair being pulled out. We are throwing my best friend a surprise bridal shower. It is happening tomorrow at six o'clock. And so I've been doing a lot of things such as getting content together um, for you guys. I um, just uploaded a video yesterday, uh, which is a collective haul. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And I've also been doing a few other stuff as far as like, you know, creating like a menu, creating an itinerary, um, some games. And then I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and five and below to um, just get some prizes so we're about to put those prizes together here on camera um, I do have to go to the mall today because I need to find an outfit because oh my gosh I waited to the last minute now I don't have an outfit all right so I just cleared off this table I got some stuff from five and below I'm gonna play two games tomorrow so the first game is like bride cues I believe so who knows the bride best and whoever wins that will get a $10 gift card to uh, Target the second game will be pay Paper bride. So I got some toilet tissue, which is like in the car, just left it in the car. Bride is going to judge to see which dress is the best. It's gonna be like five people to a team. So I just got five gifts. So whoever won will get like a little spa gift. So I got these little bags here. Girl, I'm sorry if you can't see. I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? What is this called? Uh, I hate when they put the stickers on here. Anyway, so I have this dream cut pedicure stick. Just lay all these out. I got five of those. And then I got these little face masks here. I might can come closer so I can show you guys. So this one right here is a restorative peptides clay face mask. And then the rest of these is a purifying tea clay mask. I got five, what is this? Loofahs? I call them loofahs. But I got five of these loofahs here. I'm just gonna leave them in the bag. The last thing I got was like a stone, a scrubber. Yeah, five of everything. Lay these up. Everybody's gonna go home with a party favor, which is gonna be a stainless wine glass and a mini wine bottle. It's gonna say um, her hashtag for her wedding and then her wedding date. So I think that is so freaking cute. All right, I didn't know that these were not the same color. So I'm gonna mix and match. So we're gonna have one light pink, one dark pink, one light pink, one dark pink, and then just another light pink. How cute are these? I got three more of these left. I just really think these are so cute. So we are done with the bags. I'm just so excited, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I'm in my office right now. I was supposed to go to the mall, but I honestly truly do not feel like going to the mall. So I'm just gonna see if I can find something to wear um, in these closets that I have. Um, this is like our theme, like any one of these kind of colors. 
except for like white. So I'm embarrassed to show, but I have a lot of stuff, like boxes and stuff like still in here. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything in there. And if I do, I do, if I don't, I just don't. Oh y'all, I'm getting excited <laughs> because I'm finding things like this is super wrinkly this right here is this could be like a little vibe oh i don't even know now this will be very pretty and i think that that would definitely go with the color i just have to try these on because i don't even think i can fit this y'all well, i found my cutting board <laughs> like i've really been looking for that okay so this to kind of show you i have some little options here you can see the color and I definitely think, you know, it'll match something like this. You know what I mean? I'm hoping this pink one works out for me because that will definitely be the color that I'm looking for. All right. Let me go try on these and see what it's cute. Hello, everybody. So it is Saturday, the day of the surprise uh, bridal shower. Um, it's early in the morning. I'm actually about to head to Target really quick to get some uh, last minute things. And then um, I need to do get some products for my hair because I decided to um, do like this little curly like wig situation it is pretty long i don't know the length of this but i am going to probably like cut it because you guys know i don't really like long hair but i didn't want to put any heat on my hair i don't have any full you know wigs or whatever so i have my hair like twisted within the whatever this is um to uh girl i gotta talk fast so my battery is going dead so yeah i have it twisted within so i can kind of blend it but i actually need some products to blend it and then i need some products because i haven't like did anything to this wig yet so i'm about to head out really quick and then i'm gonna come back and get ready and get things together um because i think i have to be even though the event started at six i need to be there a little bit earlier um just wearing a skims dress um my tote bag i can't find my black one that's so weird i don't know where it's that one i'm gonna switch to my uh black tote bag because i don't care i don't feel like carrying around this big one and then my shades here from lorve you know these are the main events and yeah this is how we're looking we're about to go all right y'all so i am back i'm about to put i am so hot um it is 124 now i'm about to put this basket together oh i'm so hot because i literally just got back and then i'm going to um get ready for today so starting off we have this little basket from target i got some goodies from bath and body works i got some cute little bridal stuff and also some flowers from michael's and then i got like a little pajama set from um target and a wine bottle here and then a bridal shower like card here so that's cute got some more tissue paper so i'm gonna put that together just like throwing them in there just to have like a little bit of cushion in there It's not a good idea to have this fan on, but girl, what else? Let me push it back. I might have to push y'all back because I'm comfortable. Anyway, y'all, I'm so excited. She doesn't even know why we're doing this. Like, obviously she wouldn't know because this is a surprise. I'm charging up my other camera battery now. So I'm not gonna talk to you guys long. So we're gonna put this right here, this Mrs. right here, glass, this Champagne Toast Shea Butter Cleansing Bar. Smells so good. Champagne Toast Body Lotion, the Champagne Toast Body Cream, the Fragrance Mist. Did I put that in there? Y'all, why well, I'm about to use this little tie here from Target. This little tie here to tie this from. Okay. 
and body wash. We got a candle to it, but I got these flowers because how gorgeous are they for just to have in the basket? Another one right here. How freaking cute. And then the rest. And then I'm gonna sit these like right here on these sides. I got this sign here that says bride to be. How gorgeous. I don't know how. I'm gonna like. Clip it. And then that's gonna go in there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna clip that to that. Should I put this at the back or something? I just gotta figure out a way to clip that. And then, how cute. So that's that's the look, that's the look of the basket. This is how it looks inside. Okay, I gotta go.
Okay, okay. Yeah. Our game for our beautiful bride to be. So if we can have you guys come over here, please. Thank you so much. Oh, they be up in the Everybody to be here and just to contribute to this day for her. She is such a giving person and she will literally give you the shirt off of her back. So when we found out she was grandparents. Number five. How long has she and Jan known each other? Five years. Seven years. Seven. Almost seven years. Okay, yeah. Seven. Okay. I mean, <laughs> You been Did she feel that one? All right. Number seven. What's her guilty pleasure? Rapping music. Oh. Oh, yeah. a good I don't think she feel guilty about that. I don't think she's guilty about that one either. <laughs> Number eight. What's her favorite TV show? What's her favorite movie? Player Club. <laughs> <laughs> Who got 13 out of 13? That me. 13 out of 13? 12 out of 12? Well, the shit flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, all gas, no breaks, baby. Let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. All right, here's up. Look, jewelry is trained. You see how long and pretty it is? It blows. Yeah. Don't and forget, then it's don't like the um, flower. What's this thing? You see my flowers? You see my flowers? All that. Okay. Hold on, let me put my belt back. We have the nice little ball on top that's just on the shoulder. Yeah. And then we have the nice bouquet okay. okay. right here. For okay. Me. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. All right, now who do we have over here? What do we have over here? This is flown in from David Couture. Okay. Nice body contrast with the beautiful chiffon bow. Okay. Chiffon bow, excellent on the side. All right, mama. And the back of her Mmm, can we get a spin? Say yes to the dress. Say yes to the dress? Say yes. Get the bow, get the bow. This is beautiful, but I'm gonna go with this one because. So this is the winner. Wow. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you, guys, for coming to support Illy. You have your own special forever Jackson glass with a wedding date and a bottle of rose from us. We want to thank you all for coming to support her and pouring your love into Illy tonight. Um. to high school, to college, to birth. Just want to thank y'all for always, you know, having my back. Everything I have, y'all always show much support and come out and, you know, make a girl feel special. Okay. Um, because you are back. back. <laughs> I would have never imagined in a million years, this, you know, this would have happened, but I definitely- Surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> But knowing the friends that I have, I didn't expect nothing less. Like I knew y'all was gonna do something. I wasn't expecting it because y'all know how I am. But I really, really, truly appreciate it. Like I just wanna tell y'all, I love y'all and let's take some shots. Love yeah. you!